what's up tribe how you guys doing go ahead and click that um like button and that subscribe button and all my social media is in the um, description box uh this is real housewives of beverly hills season 9 episode 13 let me tell y'all something this was a really cute episode it was a really nice episode with a lot of fun there were a couple of little moments here and there but overall it was a really great episode you guys so um, Lisa Vanderpump is not with them, and I think that might have had something to do with, you know, maybe why it wasn't a whole lot of, um, tension and stuff like that. And I'm not saying everything is Lisa's fault, I'm just saying the tension of, you know, why everybody was just sort of chilling. But all the rest of the girls were there, Camille, um, everybody else except for Lisa shit. So, um... Of course, Lisa Runner overpacks. She packed like she was leaving for a year. And, you know, the ladies are getting their camp. Because, I'm sorry, this is the camping trip. All right, this is the RV. Now, I grew up camping, okay? I grew up, um, my parents, we had a camper growing up. And we used to camp with other families. And pretty much every long weekend, you know, every Labor Day, Memorial Day, Easter... Columbus, like, we did, we took off the winter months, because I'm on the East Coast, but anywhere from Easter through Columbus Day weekend, maybe, depending on the weather, we were camping, and um, I used to tell people all the time, like, I've, I've been to damn near all the continental U.S., but I never stayed in a hotel until I was in high school. Because, and I remember then, that was like a conference for, that I went to for high school. That was the first time I stayed in a hotel. I was like, oh, okay. I never, the first time I flew on a plane was in eighth grade. Eighth grade. But at that point, I had seen most of the United States through camping. And even until recently, my parents just sold their motorhome like two years ago. So, all my life. So, I get it. I get the whole camping thing. What they were doing was not camping. It was glamping. But I ain't mad at them. Okay? Because the older I got, the less I wanted to camp and the more I wanted to glamp. And what we did was still sort of in the middle. Like, we didn't pitch tents and sometimes we did. But generally, if we pitched tents, that's because we invited, like, our friends. Like, my parents would say, oh, y'all can bring y'all friends, but you know we don't have nowhere for everybody to sleep, so we would have to get a tent. But other than that, we slept inside the camper. Or we slept, like, we, or my brother slept in the van. Because we had, like, one of those vans where the, they could, the, 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 it was a couch in the back that would convert into a bed. You know. So, it was like, we, we all had, you know, we all had, like, anyway. So, what they did was great. They had the RV and all that good stuff. And, um, before they left, um, we found out that PK did text, um, Kyle and apologize. And PK did what I did. PK, he apologized, and he he apologized, and then he basically said, now let the shit go. And I'm with you, PK, because y'all know they know how to drag some shit out. They weren't talking about the dogs, so they had to, they had to dwell on this whole shit with PK. And I was over it. Like I told y'all from the beginning, I understood what PK was saying. I took it as a joke. I didn't think it was that deep to begin with. But, of course, Kyle. Then Kyle had a nerve to say, well, you know, I told PK, well, you know, I don't I don't hold on to things, so we can let it go. Bitch, what? You don't hold on to things. Child. You don't let go either. Anyway. So, um, we're getting on the trip. Everything is great. You know, but again, they're glamping. They stop at the grocery store. These bitches spent $700 at the grocery store for an overnight trip. I don't know what the hell they bought. They were just picking up shit. Anytime you got seven women going on a grocery, I mean going on an overnight camping trip and they spent $100 worth of groceries each. $500 of that better have been liquor. $200 better have been, like, chips. Because I could see buying a bunch of snacks. But they did have some steaks. Did y'all see them steaks that they was cooking? Those steaks was, like, this thick. Hell, that was probably $30 a piece right there. Them steaks they had. God darn, them steaks look good. But anyway, but um, but it's fun. You know what I'm saying? It's all in fun. I, don't, they, I hope they took all that food to uh, a shelter on their way home. Because ain't nobody eating all that shit. Um, the only one in there that act like she ain't scared of food is Erica. Erica was eating everything. But but Erica will tell you 
Erica will tell you she does not deny herself. I think she also works very hard, you know, as far as working out and, you know, other other amenities. But she'll tell you real quick. Nah, mm -mm, I'm going to eat what the fuck I want to eat. That's why I like Erica. I love her. Anyway, so they get to the, they get to the campground and they had a KOA. Now, let me tell you all something. Again, going through my vast experience, KOA is... It's like a chain of campgrounds, but they're independently owned. But there's, it's like an association. It's KOA stands for Camp, Campgrounds of America. And you guys, have, if you've traveled, you've probably seen them on the little signs that on that let you go off on the highway or whatever. I've been at KOAs that are like the Motel Six of the campground world, and I've been at KOAs that are like the Ritz Carlton. This was. What's above the Ritz Carlton? You know what I'm saying? They had a private masseuse. The tents they were staying in were platform tents with beds and couches. And I mean, it was, it, I ain't mad at you though. Like, I'm not even mad at them. Those tents were like, when we went, when I was in Kenya and we went on safari and where we stayed, because we stayed at the safari two nights, three days. It was sort of like that. Like, where we stayed was beautiful. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my gosh. Like, the tent we stayed in. And it was sort of like that. Because they were talking about who was going to sleep where and all that good stuff. And, well, if it's cold, we're going to sleep here. And if it's that... They got there, honey. What Everybody was fine with the with what they had. And it was cool. Erica got herself a little massage while the rest of the ladies were playing beer pong. Now, let me tell y'all something. Beer pong has never been my thing. I've played drinking games. Beer pong has never been one of my favorites. One, because I don't do really... I really don't do beer like that. Two... It just didn't do nothing. It just never really did nothing for me. I've played it. It's fun. It's just not my, like, it ain't my go-to, right? Um. So, but they had a good time. Doree ass is like a beer pong champion. Let me tell you something. Doree had that little fake ass accent, but Doree is from Connecticut. I bet you Doree didn't, didn't shut down many a frat party in her day. Because the way she cleared that board on beer pong. We might need to do some investigating into Dorit's past, because I'm just saying. She was she did the damn thing. Um, but they were having a good time. It was all in fun. Um, then of course they're sitting around eating and they got to talking about Lisa Vanderpump. Erica shut that shit down. Erica said, Look, I ain't concerned with myself with who ain't here. I'm concerned with myself with who is here. Either you want to be a part of my life or you don't. If you choose not to be a part of my life, fuck it. Like, that's just how I feel about it. And it was funny because the rest of the girls were just kind of like, oh, huh. all right, then. Like, it's not, it, what else is there to say to that? Because that's really what it is. Like, we're here. We're having a good time. I'm not going to sit here and spend a whole bunch of time talking about who ain't here. Boom. I said, well, all right. Um, but they went on a little hike, and they did some rock climbing. And, you know, um, I think everybody took a turn doing the rock climbing. Dorit won. Erica won. Kyle quit. Let me tell you something. Kyle got more phobia. She's scared of height. She's scared of this. She's scared of that. Kyle, stop it. Let it go. Enjoy life. Girl. Girl. Because for somebody who's scared of heights, you sure put yourself in situations where you're dealing with heights a lot. Just let this shit go, boo. Enjoy it. It's not that deep. Enjoy it, boo. Enjoy it. Um, then they got to cooking. Honey, Camille and uh, was it Denise was tearing that damn grill up. They didn't know what the hell they was doing. The De, um, Dorit and um, Teddy had to come over there and save the damn food before they before they destroyed that that dag on good meat. And Camille had a nerve to get mad. Camille, you was tearing that grill up. You was fucking the meat up. You was fucking up dinner. And then had a nerve to get mad when Teddy came over there talking about some. Teddy just inserts herself. I know how to cook. I know how to run a grill, Teddy. You, I'm like, no, you just all, you just got a problem with Teddy because you was tearing that grill up. And if you would fuck that steak up, I'd have been mad for you. Because that steak looked good. That was a good cut of meat. Right? Um, but it was all in fun. I mean, they, they had corn. They had sweet potatoes. That's why they spent all that daggone money. They had... They had the good hamburgers. They didn't have, like, the little Murray Steakhouse hamburgers. They had the good hamburgers, y'all. Um, and, if, like I said, they had steak. They had hot dogs. Erica said, I just want me a burnt hot dog, and I'm good to go. 
uh, Lisa Renna got a, a massage, you know. And so, you know, they're eating and they get to talking around the, the campfire. Honey, they get to finding out. Denise be telling all her business. She be telling She be telling too much. Denise done told them girls that she that she made, found a happy ending for her husband. Found a happy ending for her husband. Because he had never had one before. So she found a masseuse to give him a happy ending. All the rest of the women were like, You a better one than me. I said, I know that's right. Because I don't know. I'll give him the happy ending when he get home. You go have a massage. I'll give you the happy ending. She don't need to give you no happy ending. Okay? I got that covered. Okay? Um, then Denise says she's had a happy ending. I didn't even know women could get happy endings. Maybe that's sexist of me. But I never even thought about women getting happy endings. Didn't think they could happen. I didn't know. I didn't know. Maybe that's just, you know, short-sighted on my part happy ending for a woman but Denise said that she had a happy ending okay boo I ain't mad at you I ain't mad at you I ain't mad at you um and then Denise ended up getting a real massage from that lady I don't think that lady gave her a happy ending though no. but she did have a nice massage um then they got to talking at dinner and that's when Camille and Teddy got into it actually I think I'm out of order I think the massage conversation was later on that night i think earlier was the teddy and camille thing and basically you know camille told teddy she's a know-it-all and she's inserting herself in situations that are her business in that but in that situation i don't think teddy was i think teddy was actually giving camille some good advice because what camille was saying was they were talking about the wedding and whether they thought vanderpump was going to come to the wedding and camille was like well she didn't come to my baby to my mm, baby shower lord no you know baby's there Oh, let me get back to Camille. Hold on, I'm going to get back to that because I'm going to forget. Why Camille telling all her business? When they were doing the, um, it's like she, I don't know what types of confidentiality clause she has with Kelsey, but whatever it is, it must have fucking expired. Either that or she feel like she don't need his money no more. Or maybe with her getting remarried, she won't get any more of his money. Because, you know, sometimes with um, spousal support, when you remarry, the spouse support is cut off. So maybe, I don't know what it is, but she's doing a whole lot of talking about Kelsey. She don't call him by name, but hell, everybody know who she's talking about. So the first thing she said was, when they were doing the rock climbing, and she, you know, they got to put the, the harness on, she said, oh, this reminds me of sex with my ex. And everybody was like, huh? And she was like, they said, you used to wear a strap on? She said, we were kinky, what can I say? I don't think Kelsey want people knowing that you wore a strap on when... I, I just don't think that's something he really feel like you need to know. The rest of the world need to know. Then later on, they were talking about... After they were having the happy ending conversation. And she shared that, you know... That, you know, she massages, massages rectums. Now, here's the thing. I don't have no judgment about that. I know a lot of people, women... You know, men who are comfortable with women doing that, I know that that happens. That's not something that I think is a bad thing. Again, I just feel like that might not be something people want you to share. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not judging you for doing it. I'm just saying maybe don't people don't necessarily want you to share that information about them. Anyway, back to the our, back to the conversation. So, she was saying how she wanted Lisa to come to the wedding, but she didn't think she would. Teddy says to her. If you want her to come to the wedding, then that's okay that you want her to come to the wedding. She said, but don't text her. Pick up the phone and call her and ask her. Talk to her, you know, which I 100% agree with. In this day and age, myself included, I am quick to send a text. People that I used to have hour-long conversations with, we now text. I just got a, my phone rang earlier. It was a text from a friend. Me and this person used to talk all the time. Hey, how you doing? How was your day? Now, hey, how you doing? How was your day? Text, send. You know, we do it all the time. But I do think that there are times that are it's appropriate to have a conversation, not a text. And that is a conversation. You know that there's tension. Don't pretend like it's nothing going on. Don't, you know, ignore the elephant in the room. But pick up the phone and call her and say, look, I know it's a lot of shit going on in the group right now, but me and you have history that goes beyond this that goes beyond this situation, and I want you at my wedding. It would really hurt me if you didn't come. Boom. 
And so she starts going at Teddy, talking about Teddy, you really just insert yourself in situations that don't pertain to you and this has nothing to do with you and da 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 da. And I was like, see, you really just wanted to say something to Teddy. Because that, in that situation, I don't feel like Teddy, Teddy was doing anything wrong. Now, does Teddy get on my nerves? Yes, she does. But in that situation, I, I, I can't say that I felt like Teddy was wrong. Then, shit. Then, they got to talking about the whole PK situation again. Why the fuck we can't let that die? I don't know. And poor Dorit. Dorit got up to go to the bathroom, came back, and they were talking about PK. Dorit was like, really? Like, can we just let this shit die? Like, damn. Um... And, of course, they had to get on that again and start talking about that whole situation again. And Teddy wanted to make it seem like it was a it was a setup. Really? You really thought PK thought that far in advance? First of all, you think PK give a damn enough? Second of all, you really think he planned it out, him and Dorit planned that whole situation out? Like, come on. So, it turned into a big argument between her and Camille. And, you know, you know, Teddy told her, she said, you know, Camille, you really have a whole lot to say about people behind their back. But to their face, you don't really have, you don't really back it up. So then Camille was like, well, my face is right here now. Bitch, whatever. You ain't about that life. So the situation sort of died off. You know what I mean? It sort of fizzled out. But it was clear that the two of them got some issues. Um, the next morning we get up and, you know, and again, that was really the only hiccup of the whole time. Like the rest of the time they're having a good time. They're really getting to know each other. They're really spending time. They're really bonding. Like it was a really, really good trip. I really felt like it was. Um, they get up the next morning. Um, uh, Teddy goes for a run. Erica is eating. And let me tell you something, Erica. I love me some Erica Jane. Y'all know I do. Erica lost some cool points this Because Erica was eating that daggone pumpkin pie. She didn't lose cool points because she was eating a pumpkin pie. Because who the hell don't want to eat pie for breakfast with a little whipped cream? She lost cool points because who the fuck eats pumpkin pie? It's sweet potato pie. Now, if Erica had picked up the sweet potato pie, we'd be good. But you lost some points because you picked up the pumpkin pie. Who eats pumpkin pie? You know what I'm saying? But, anyway, but it was fun. They had pulled pranks on each other the night before. It was fun, y'all. It was just a good trip it was so much fun and even though they were glamping they still weren't staying at you know a five star you know um you know private resort and they still had a good time you know they you know they didn't have 20 well some of them did but they didn't have 20 bags of luggage you know what i'm saying but they had a good time and then on the way back they kind of were talking about body image and <sighs> I'm not gonna go that y'all I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too deep with it. I'm not gonna go too deep with it. But they got to talking about, you know, when they were growing up, their body image was like Twiggy and um Kate Moss and how the the pressure to be thin was just so hard and how now because of the Kardashians, because of J Lo, it's kinda okay to be a little bit thicker. You know, Marilyn Monroe was thicker and it was cool and then it sort of went to the skinny, 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 skinny that people just couldn't maintain. My role models have always been a little thicker. And I'm going to leave it at that. Because that could be a whole nother 20 minutes. And I ain't going to go down that road with them. But I, but their point is valid. The point is valid. It's just who are you choosing to be your role model. You understand what I'm saying? You, you feel me? Because Kate Moss was never my role model. I know it existed. I grew up during that time period with the whole, you know, with the, the those supermodels that were way thin and all that. But that was never who I was looking at, you know, trying to be like. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the Kardashians did make it okay in Hollywood society to be that body type. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, but they were just imitating what we already had. But I ain't gonna, again, I'm not going to go down that road. Anyway. So that was pretty much that, you guys. Erica invited everybody to come to her show, which is going to be on the next episode. Camille can't come because she's going to be on her way to go to her wedding. Her wedding was in Hawaii. So she's going to be leaving to go to Hawaii. And Denise is actually doing a movie, so she won't be able to make it. But the rest of the girls will be there. So that's going to be a lot of next week's episode from the previews. It looks like um, the show, Erica's show. Lisa Vanderpump in this damn kitchen. I guess that's the only storyline she got since she won't film with nobody. She is the, the, And then we saw that Camille goes to talk to her and invite her to the wedding. So we'll see how that goes. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments. Peace.